evening and welcome to the barrel house boom we just did the cork pop in a short so go check out the short pop the cork ready to go we poured some i poured another one um i am so excited i've been looking for this for two years we are going to review and taste russell's 13. this was been the hunt month of craziness at the barrel house look for the video coming soon of everything i've picked up in the month of july russell's 13 i actually got two bottles of this one of them went to a uh, bourbon club member and some other great stuff i've never tried this until a few minutes ago and uh i am so excited so here we go let's get a nose on this this is russell's 13 this is batch four it is 114.8 proof aged of course 13 years and it's about 75 percent corn 12 percent rye and um, I think right around 12, 13% barley. So here we go. Let's get a nose on it. Oh. oh, I think I just heard angels. By the way, in most of your bourbon forums online and people that vote on this, this is a 95, which 95 is the highest and it's voted the best bottle out so far this year of any bourbon. So here you go. It just was released. Uh, the Russell's 2023 just came out, so you might be able to find some. Maybe you get lucky. It's been popping up on some shelves in Colorado. So here we go. The nose is kind of like, oh, you know, caramel and char, and it's not as hot as you would think. And um, yeah, maybe a little uh, like marshmallow toastiness. So, um, and of course, a little leather. So here we go. That's 115 proof, ladies and gentlemen, and that is pretty smooth. There is a slight, slight um, heat for a second. Then it goes super smooth, like, um, yeah, caramel, marshmallow, toast, kind of campfire smoke char to it, and just finishes just like, just this, it's hard to say the finish is so smooth. I dare say this is the best bottle of bourbon I've ever personally tasted. Oh my goodness, it does not disappoint. The finish is just ultra smooth. Incredible. It's just like a caramel, vanilla, marshmallow toastiness. Um, now this opened up, my palate's got it. There's some char there, but it is just incredible. Try this over ice, neat. Um, I'm actually doing both. I have another one over here on ice that I can't wait to try against it. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? I just did a little ice. This is a very small glass. It looks like there's a lot in there, but um, it's not. And that's even more smooth once it gets a little water and opens up. So this is incredible. If you can find this, try it. We're going to do one cool thing real quick. So Russell's 13 is very difficult to find. So the Russell single barrel is much, much easier to find. It's on most shelves. This is MSRP is quite expensive for this. This bottle here is about a $60 bottle. So we will show that right here. And I did want to light this up. I didn't light it up. So let's uh, let people kind of see it on light. If my light's going to work, my light is really touchy. There we go. And then, so the Russell single barrel. The single barrel has got a nice smooth, and this is a hundred and I believe 10 to 12 proof. And uh, also smooth. I love Russell single barrel. It comes out definitely hotter, um, more heat at the beginning, not near as much char, doesn't have the toastiness or the complexities, but it's a very solid bourbon. It's just, it also has that kind of that vanilla caramel and um, and definitely a little bit of leathery notes. And uh, this is quite delicious, so I would get this. It can't touch this one, but this is a legend. And, uh, but all the Russells are great. Get this one if you, uh, can find it because it's fantastic so we're gonna put that off to the side and we're gonna do one more and then i'm gonna let you drink some bourbon on this wonderful monday night after a horrible day at work like i had okay here we go we've got the russell's tenure russell's tenure 35 ish to 40 dollar bottle she'll be able to get this almost anywhere um fantastic tenure bourbon not a single barrel and you're getting a lot mellower notes when you start. This is definitely, um, this is 100 proof, I think. A little over 100 proof. And 10 year, nice smooth right off the bat. And just not the complexities. Um, doesn't have a huge Kentucky hug. And smooth all the way through. 
Get this on your shelf in the glass. If you can find this, get this on your shelf. You may not want to put it in the glass right away. Savor it, save it, love it. And uh, this one also. So, hope you love the Russell's presentation. Russell's 13 is absolutely everything they said it was. It is an expensive bottle. If you can find it, buy it. It is worth it. Cheers, everybody.